Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Introduction to Psychology Part 1 PSY312 by Dear Knowledge. Today in this video we will be discussing the part 2 of the lesson 1 of chapter 3. The chapter 3 was the biological basis of behavior and lesson 1 was neurons, its structure and function. Part 1 was about the structure and functions and characteristics of neurons and this is part 2 of the uh, lesson one and in this video we will be discussing communication within neurons the neural impulse which is using energy to send information the neuron at rest in which we will be discussing a tiny battery and then we will discuss in the, uh, the action potential and last but not least we will discuss the all or none law in this video, we will consider the nature of communication within a neuron and in the next video, we will describe the communication between neurons as you will see communication in and between neuron is a chemical process. Now, if you haven't watched the part one of the lesson one, you can simply click on the link which I have given in the description. Go ahead and watch that video. Now, let's start with the neural impulse using energy to send information. Have you ever wondered uh, what happens when a neuron is stimulated and what is the nature of the signal, the neural impulse that moves through the neuron? There were, uh, these were the questions that Alan Hodgkin and Andrew Huxley set out to answer their groundbreaking experiment with axons removed from the squid. Now, why did they choose to work with axons of the squid? Because the axons has a pair of giant uh, axons that are bound, uh, they're about a hundred times larger than those in human, which still makes them uh, only about as thick as human hair. But uh, these were like almost... Uh, larger than humans axons. So their size permitted Hodgkin and Huxley to insert fine wires called microelectrodes into them by using uh, the microelectrodes to record the electrical activity in the individual neuron. Hodgkin and Huxley unrevealed the mystery of the neural impulse. Now let's start with the neuron at rest which is a tiny battery. Hodgkin and Huxley in 1952 learned that the neural impulse is a complex electrochemical reaction. Both inside and outside the neurons are fluid containing electrically charged atoms and molecules called ions. Positively charged sodium and potassium and negatively charged chloride ions flow back and forth across the membrane. But as they, uh, they do not cross at the same rate, the difference in flow rates leads to a slightly higher concentration of negatively charged ions inside the cell. The resulting voltage means that the neuron at the rest is a tiny battery, a store of potential energy. The resting potential of a neuron is its stable negative charge when the cell is inactive. This charge is about minus 70 millivolts, roughly one twelfth of the voltage of a flashlight battery. Now let's come to the action potential. I have included two definitions. Uh, the first one is an action potential is a brief shift in neurons electrical chemical charge. Then the next definition is a brief impulse by which the information is transmitted along the axon of a neuron. The action potential as long as the voltage of a neuron remains constant, the cell is quiet and no message are being sent. While the neuron is stimulated, channels in its cell membrane open, briefly allowing, allowing positively charged sodium ions to rush in. For instance, the neuron charge is less negative or positive, creating an action potential. An action potential is a brief shift uh, in a neuron's electrical charge that travels along an axon. The firing of an action potential is reflected in voltage spike. Like a spark traveling along a trail of gunpowder, the voltage change races down the axon. After the firing of an action potential, 
the channels and the cell membranes that opens to the left and sodium close up sometimes is uh, needed before they are ready to open again and until that time the neuron cannot fire the absolute refract uh, refractory period in the minimum length of the time after an action potential during which another action potential cannot begin the downtime isn't very long only one or two two milliseconds it is followed by a brief relative refractory period during the rel uh, relative refractory period the neuron can fire but its threshold for firing is elevated so more intense stimulation is required to initiate an action potential now let's come to the all or none law the neural impulse is an all or none proposition like firing a gun you can't half fire a gun. The same is true for the neuron's firing of action potential. Either the neuron fires or it doesn't, and its action potentials are all the same size. That is, weaker stimuli do not produce smaller action potential. Even though the action potential is, uh, is an all or nothing event, neurons can convey information about the strength of a stimulus. They do so by varying the rate at which they fire action potential. Uh, in general, a stronger stimuli will cause a cell to fire a more rapid volley of neural impulse than weaker stimuli will. So if we talk about the speed, uh, various neurons transmit neural impulses at different speeds. For example, thicker axons transmit neural impulse more rapidly than thinner do, uh, the thinner ones do. Um, although neural impulses do not travel as fast as electricity along a wire, they are very fast moving up to 100 uh, meters per second which is equivalent to more than 200 miles per hour and the entire the complicated process of neural transmission takes only a few thousandth of a second which is one over thousand of a second and in the time it takes you to read this description of the neural impulse billions of such impulses have been transmitted in your nervous system so this was the end of the video if you like the video your concept is clear you can like the video and if not what was that the, uh, that topic which you haven't uh, understood or uh, which was a kind of confusing a confusion type so you can type in the comment you can ask us when we will try our level best to uh, help you clear your concept because our main aim is to clear your concept and deliver the knowledge worldwide free and to get notified, to stay notified for the upcoming videos, you can subscribe to our channel. And if you want to stay updated and stay notified all the time, you can click on the bell icon because we usually upload course related videos on every Saturday and Sunday. And the request based videos are uploaded from Monday to Friday, which are the working days. So if you have any request based, uh, if you want us to upload any request based videos on any topic you want, you can type in the comment and we will try our level best to upload a request based video for you. So you can click on the bell icon after subscribing. Whenever we upload a request based video, you will be notified and you can share the video and the link of this channel with your friends and family because sharing is caring and until then Allah Hafiz